Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials, I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is an enum introduction. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com, select begin, and I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the enum introduction. Now, an enumeration, or enum for short, is a special data type that consists of a list of named constants. Now, the number of values that an enum contains is fixed at the time the enum is defined. In other words, you cannot add or remove enum values dynamically throughout your program. Enumerations are quite commonly used uh, to control switch and if statements, but they can be used in other flow control loops as well. Now, you may also hear them referred to as enumerated lists. So enumerations can be declared in one of two ways, separately as a class or a class member. So here's separately as a class, public enum sizes, right? Now it cannot be protected or private in this particular if you're gonna declare it as a, uh, a separately as a class there, right? It can be either default or public. Okay, and then basically you define the enum Oh, data types right here, small, medium, and large, okay? These aren't actually string types or anything like that. They're their own separate um, data type, and, and you know enums are, in fact, like a class type. So, And one of the unique things about enums is you can put a semicolon, an optional semicolon there on the end of that, too, as well. So why you would want to, I don't know, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. The other way you can do it is as a class member. So I've got this, you know, class enum introduction right here. And basically, um, you know, I'm demonstrating like int i equals zero and then enum available colors, right? Okay, you can put that in as a class introduction there. Now enums cannot be declared in a method. All right. Um, enumeration objects are created without the new keyword, right? So if we do like sizes, all right, we've got this enum sizes up here. If we do a reference variable sref equal to size of sizes type, we don't do a new sizes, right? We do sizes.medium. We actually assign it to directly to a specific data type value for the enum there, okay? Now, enumeration comparisons are performed using the double equals operator, right? Just like primitive comparisons. However, there's a special rule for using them in a switch statement. So like, for example, if, you know, sref equals sizes.medium, whatever, right? Now, if we do a switch sref, we have to do case medium. We don't do case sizes.medium. We have to do just plain old medium here. Um, you know, conversely, we can't do if sref double equals and then leave off the sizes dot here and just say medium, that doesn't work. So just some special rules. Now, enumerations are class type, but they play by a very strange set of special rules. And I'll be going over, you know, just some of the core stuff here to get you introduced to them here. So let's come down here and highlight the source code. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'll move my browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on the desktop, but if you don't have one, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next and finish. All right, let's go ahead and open that up. First thing you want to do is type in Java C. You should see all this stuff scroll by. Now, however, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing and configuring the Java development kit. I want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash CD is short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory here called Java using the MD command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. I'm going to change directories to the Java folder here. Um, and I'm going to make a directory here called enum introduction. Okay, let's change directories to the enum introduction folder. And I'm going to notepad enum introduction.java. Enum introduction.java is going to be the name of my source code file. All right, let's go ahead and uh, control V to paste all that stuff in here. Let's just come up here and save this here first. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and jump right into compiling this. Let's clear our screen, Java C, enum introduction.java, right? Um, now let's take a look at this here real quick there. So basically I've got pretty much what I've talked about there. I'm doing this 
enum sizes. And you'll notice I didn't put the public on it there because if I put the public on it, we have to have it in our own class. All right, I'm just gonna run this here real quick too as well, Java. We'll go over some of the interesting stuff about these here too, okay? So um, the first thing I'm doing is I've got this enum sizes declared separately basically in class style up here and then as a class member, right, available colors. So inside of the main method, I'm you know, basically creating this reference variable of type sizes, right, and setting that equal to sizes.medium. All right, the next thing I'm doing is uh, reference variable AC, which is available colors type, setting that available colors.blue. And here I'm representing how we use the double equals to check its value, not the equals, you know, um, method like you'd expect in a normal class. So um, that's somewhat unique per se to these, um, to an enum there. So we can use the double equals like that. Now um, down here I'm, I'm demonstrating, you know, using the switch statement with our reference variable and then we only want to use red, right? So we could not use something like, you know, available colors.red. So anyway, you could see basically this printed out medium and blue based on, you know, what we had selected there. So let's talk about some of the funky stuff here. Like for example, the, the semicolon up here, he's a little strange, he's optional, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do here is first is just kind of make the, for example, try to make this protected. Okay. Um, See, we got a compiler error if we try to make this protected. Now, the interesting thing is, is um, as a class member, you can do whatever you want. You can make it public, um, you can make it protected, or you can make it private. Okay, so if we if we go ahead and save that there, right? Um, recompile it, rerun it, works just fine. So. No problem with protected or private if you make your enum a class member there, right? Back save, right, and recompile and rerun. Still get the same results there. Now, um, one of the other things you might might notice here is that the, the enum, if you're expecting it to be like, um, you know, kind of like a, a normal instance variable is, as you know, since we've got a static method right here, we can't access a non-static um, member, right? So if we do something, for example, like uh, system.out.println s, right? And we try to go ahead and run that, or compile that, we're gonna get an error message, non-static variable s cannot be referred, referenced from a static context. You'll also notice that the available colors enum, it can be, it can be you know, um, you can see it from a, static or a non-static it doesn't even matter on that necessarily so it uh, somewhat gets around that's a somewhat strange rule for that per se as well um, you know uh, if we do apply the static modifier it doesn't doesn't change it in any way so um, see so it'll still compile and it'll still run as far as that goes there too as well all right um, this, uh, the semicolon thing is really strange there too as well. So inside as a class member, let's say for example, uh, I'm just going to do, I'm going to put that string s back in here, right? And right after that, I'm gonna do an int i, right? Now, the semicolon here is even optional. We can check this out, right? Let's go ahead and save this and recompile it, C compiles just fine and runs just fine too there as well, right? So the optional semicolon is a little strange there too as well. Now, um, so as far as the introduction goes, that's basically where I'm gonna leave that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get rid of that, get rid of that, and leave you guys with some quick final thoughts on basically the introduction. So enumerations can have constructors, methods, and instance variables also. Now, if you thought some some of the basic enum rules are somewhat strange, stay tuned for the rest of my enumeration tutorials. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.